Just a few weeks ago, the Formula One world was treated to its first glimpse of how the cars may look in 2021, in anticipation of a comprehensive new rule set. But that concept is still a work in progress. A few weeks before the surprise preview of F1's 2021 plans, we had to think about what we'd like to see for the next generation of rules. We threw together a few terrible sketches before handing them over to our 3D editor Matt, who has actual talent, to turn those doodles into a 3D model. Without further ado, here is our 2021 vision. We don't have a name for it just yet, but Racy McRaceface is certainly off the table. Before we get into it, here's a disclaimer. This is just what we'd like to see. We don't think 2021 cars will look entirely like this, but we've designed it with a similar intention in mind, to simplify the current design of cars, reduce the turbulent weight produced, and bring cars closer together on track. Let's kick off at the front, shall we? Building on the work done for 2019 to simplify the front wings, we've gone a step further. We've locked off the maximum number of wing elements from 5 to 3, and insisted that the end plates have a reduced curvature. There's no foot plates or any of that nonsense. The nose makes full contact with the centre of the front wing main plane. By adding that, the designers are nods to the noses of the 90s, before the raised mounting pylons became more popular. What we wanted to do here was reduce the current reliance on the aerodynamics on top of the car for downforce, simplifying the wing without completely nullifying the scope for development. The slant of the end plate is a little bit inspired by the design seen in the 1980s, complementing the shape of the nose. As we move further up the nose, we've got a rather lovely S-duct. It works in two ways. Firstly, to assist with the airflow's transition over the curvature of the chassis bulkhead, and secondly, it helps to feed the ducts further up. These ducts feed some carefully controlled airflow into the cockpit, which now has an aero screen. A hybrid between a Perspex canopy and the current halo, this gives the driver added protection while giving them a route to escape from without the fear of becoming trapped. Oh, and it looks cool. Since we're in that area of the car, now seems like a good time to speak about the barge boards. Have a good old look. That's right, there aren't any. Recently, barge boards have become a little bit finicky, over-engineered. Of course, they're there to turn the turbulence coming off the wheels around the car, but the byproduct is a greater amount of unruly wake behind the car. And that's not something that's desirable for the racing when a car's following behind. So, we got rid of them. The floor has also changed, opening up some Venturi tunnels to increase the amount of downforce produced on the underside of the car. The greater undercut of the side pods suggests more of a focus towards inwash on the bodywork, so aerodynamicists will be attempting to channel air down that path with somewhat limited resources available. Inspired by the split air intake currently used by Alfa Romeo, we've added that to respond to the changes in airflow produced by the aero screen. Situating the intake further back should give it a chance to fall into its path to provide the engine with the right amount of air to function. The shark fin has also shrunk, again similar to Alfa Romeo's design this year, which had also been used by McLaren and Williams in 2019. We're going to call this the Nemo fin, and that's something of an aesthetic choice, showing off the curvature of the engine cover just a little bit more. You might also notice the change in wheels, and we've included the 2021 spec 18-inch wheels. What we haven't done is include wheel covers, and while this might not exactly be quite as aerodynamically friendly, we prefer how they look. But we'll cover them up if you think it looks indecent. The rear wing has also been given a new look, and we've rather optimistically omitted DRS from this. What we're hoping is that the changes down the car amend that age-old problem of F1's lack of close racing. The centre section of the rear wing has a shallow camber to minimise the drag produced in this area, and hence the overall weight. Instead, the two outboard thirds of the wing are responsible for the bulk of the downforce. The slot gap is quite open to control how much downforce is produced by the wing, and is assisted with wing stays to stop anyone attempting to make use of flexi wings. At the back, the exit of the Venturi tunnels is also quite prominent. The curvature of the underside produces something akin to a ground effect in which air is accelerated between the lowest point of the car's floor and the ground. By restricting what's on top of the car and bolstering the underside, the amount of turbulence should be reduced to improve the on-track spectacle. Altogether, our 2021 car is definitely very F1, but for a new age. Inspired by design ideas old and new, we're rather happy with how this looks, and we hope you like it too. Now imagine 20 of these cars, or something that looks similar, racing around together. Wouldn't that be a sight to behold? What do you think? 
Let us know in the comments and feel free to pop a like on this video and subscribe for much, much more.